Obviously, obviously, I mean, it's a heck of a ball game. It wasn't much margin either way throughout. And uh, the guys on both teams were fighting like crazy and, and uh, you know, making big-time plays, big-time stops. We had a little trouble getting a rebound there uh, the latter part of the game and overtimes. But uh, overall, just really proud for our guys, happy for our guys. Uh, a great deal of respect for uh, West Virginia. Now uh, get a couple of days and uh, get to line up against another really good team in Texas. We'll have Eric Bailey open it up for us. Lon, well, congratulations. Uh, first of all, I just want to ask you about Austin Reeves and just the way he took over the game down the stretch. Uh, almost had a triple-double tonight. Uh, just Austin's overall play. It was outstanding. Uh, you know, big-time plays at critical times in the ball game, uh, trying to trade in the leads there in that last overtime. And, uh, yeah, Austin was terrific, uh, making plays uh, off the dribble, uh, getting to the free throw line, uh, driving and kicking for others. Uh, uh, got a couple big rebounds. Uh, yeah, huge, huge game for Austin. What about Gibson as well? Gibson, you know, he hit the, the, all the three-pointers, but the big buck at the end of regulation was huge. And just the way he started the second overtime with the tap uh, to Harkless and then also making the three. Yeah, he's been great for, for a long time. He's he's played well. He's uh, consistently probably, uh, you know, a guy that uh, is uh, – Put up good numbers every night. Uh, he works hard defensively. He's uh, terrific in preparation for, for games. Uh, made big buckets here today. Uh, uh, you know, uh, again, uh, Moshe's done that for us. Lon, congratulations. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. We're going to go to Bob Prisbillo next. Yeah, Lon, the last couple of weeks for Kerr really hasn't been a lot to say, but that block that he had at the end, what, what does it say about him? Did he could come in after not playing for – Huge stretch of time and be able to be ready to make a play like that. Yeah, huge play. You know, Kerr, uh, you know, he's a good rim protector. He's uh, he's practicing hard. He's doing a good job. Brady's, uh, you know, uh, getting bulk of the minutes right now. But uh, Kerr, uh, big time, big time play there to protect the rim and uh, and uh, a critical time in the game. Let's head to Joe Bettner for our next question. Uh, Lon, I'm just wondering if you could, you know, speak to just the second half, more to the second half that Austin Reeves had, just the way he was able to come up. And I'm curious if you could um, just tell us what he was like in those huddles, having having your senior leader out there. He had, you know, two opportunities to win you the game. The second time that, you know, it goes through, just uh, wondering what that, that last stretch was like for Austin. Well, Austin's a big time competitor. You know, he wants the ball in late game situations, uh, doesn't shy away from anything. Uh, you know, that's just a huge bucket there to put us back up uh, one uh, in that uh, second overtime. So, yeah, he was he was terrific uh, throughout the half, but uh, big time plays in overtime as well. When when the shots weren't falling, you, you know, you went five minutes there at the end of the second half without a field goal or you only had, I think, one or two in, in that stretch. I mean, did you ever sense any frustration from this team? Well, we got it up what nine there uh, in the second half, and we uh, you know gave up a couple of quick buckets. We couldn't uh, we couldn't answer on the other end, but uh, yeah, you know, you know we've been kind of streaky, you know, offensively all year. You know, I thought uh, again we uh, our perimeter guys really really fought their perimeter guys. Obviously, that leaves uh, you know Brady and Kerr kind of on an island down there with Culver, and they they battled him like crazy. But uh, did a good job against their threes. They, they've been shooting the threes so well, and. I thought our perimeter guys did a great job communicating and getting to shooters uh, on the perimeter. Thanks so much, Lon. You bet. We'll head to Austin Kurtwright for our next question. Hey, Lon, just wanted to ask another question about Austin. You know, going, you know, last four road games or so, he's had at least 19 points. Do you find yourself or the team sort of leaning on him more and more in these you know, tough road games? For sure. Yeah. Every, every team's got uh, guys that they look to for security and, and uh, kind of uh, reinforcing confidence uh, throughout the squad. And, and Austin certainly does that uh, for our guys. Uh, they've got a lot of confidence in Austin. Austin plays with a lot of confidence. So absolutely. He's, uh, he's been fantastic. Next we'll go to James Hale. You know, Lon, trying to cover Culver uh, was, was tough for you guys, especially the way they were calling the game inside. I'm curious, uh, you know, your thoughts on on what was happening there. Then trying to get a defensive board late in the game, uh, their second chance points in the final two or three minutes or in overtime, uh, that's what kept them in the game. Yeah, without question. You know, it's been great to get a board there. We uh, we couldn't seem to get one uh, uh, even on the second or third try. So uh, that was huge. You know, it, uh, 
well, uh, could have, you know, you know, you know, cost us a ball game. We, we got to do a better job of, uh, you know, sticking our nose in there and uh, getting more contact, more physical on the board and trying to come down with one of those. We'll go to the Oklahoma next. I'll have uh, Aber go first and then Trammell after him. Yeah, Lon, I wanted to ask you about uh, Brady Manick today. Obviously, a, a, a tough assignment for him. Um, how do you feel like he handled things, especially on the, the defensive end and uh, playing that role uh, in the middle yet again? Yeah, I thought, I thought he battled like crazy. You know, I mean, Culver's, uh, you know, we kind of told our big guys going in that we're going to focus on uh, getting to the shooters. That leaves them a little bit uh, on an island down there, and uh, they battle it. Uh, Culver's a tough matchup. He's so physical, and he's quick when he starts spinning with it. So we could have maybe given him a little bit more help at times, but uh, Brady handled it. He battled. Uh, he'll sleep well tonight for sure. Appreciate it, Lon. You bet. Go ahead, Tram. Yeah, hey, Lon, you're usually pretty understated, and I'm not saying you put a lampshade on your head after this game, but – on the court, your your on court interview, you use some verbiage that you don't generally use. I mean, is it this one seemed to really resonate with you winning this game the way you won it? Oh, absolutely! I, I'm so happy for the guys. I mean, uh, you know, West Virginia's been playing great. They've been playing with super confidence. Uh, you know, go on the road and, and win ball games. They've uh, they've been terrific. So for our guys uh, to prepare the way they did this week, I, I thought they were great in preparation. You know, we had a full week there, and uh, and uh, they worked at it. They were focused. Uh, yeah, just happy for the guys. Proud, proud of their effort. Uh, could have obviously a game that could have gone either way. So uh, uh, I'm always happy for them after after they compete and battle and, and do a good job. But uh, like you say, maybe a little bit more so uh, on this occasion. The, earlier in the day, the selection committee came out with its, you know, its sort of faux uh, seeds. They had West Virginia 10th and U 12th. So that makes you both, in their mind right now, a three seed in the NCAA tournament. Is that sort of where you think this team is? I mean, uh, a top three seed is is a pretty good top 12 team in the in America. Do you see that as that what your team is? Well, it is pretty good if that's the way it ends up. But we got a lot of work to do, as you know. You know, they uh, they keep getting better. And uh, we'll learn what we what we get at the end. And we got uh, some tough, tough challenges ahead. We know that. Uh, but uh, – this group's made a ton of progress since December, you know, maybe as much as any team uh, in, 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 uh, we've ever had. Uh, if, if you want to you know, look at that uh, over 40 years, uh, they've been uh, unbelievable at uh, focusing on getting better each week. And they've done that. And especially on the defensive end, uh, consistently gotten better. And uh, we still want to be a little bit more consistent offensively, but we'll keep working on that. 